All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Refall. Um, so I try and plan to make a video of the one of the new characters that have like a native native theme. Went through like the whole um. Both through that like the nave merging quest line all the way to that point the last video and now it's just like make a video like let's go to the place and read towards let love that merchant for that city but it's part of the main one and I like fuck it Building a bridge and fall off. So I probably like, don't like get like the ooh ah kind of feel right now. This is the right way. Yeah. I'll probably like probably cannot reset the all that stuff from the last character because of the new character I talked about. Because there's a couple like things I got from that run. Got a new like stone blade. They have like like poisonous and such. So I'm not gonna do that. thing Did you know they have like a big club So I, I guess this necklace can heal me like 10 seconds. So that's cool. So. <sighs> Health is more better than magic.
that bull? Is that a bull? Yeah, it's a bull. bull. Or whatever I call it. The traveler. Halt! What's your destination, milady? Just into town. I'm an emissary of the congregation and I'm here to discuss matters with your governor. Why the checkpoint? We've got orders to verify all comings and goings. The roads are becoming dangerous. Do you have anything particular to report? Nothing out of the ordinary. Well then, good travels, milady. like a uh, medical place. Look at that. Can I get the fucking camp? There you go. Look at this place. It looked twice bigger than the uh, new screen. Well, it... they got here for a long time for us so uh, it make more sense but it's big over there it looks like a palace but it actually isn't a palace Your names, titles, and business at hand. Lady de Sade, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier 3D. I have come to present my regards to your governor. Your papers seem to be in order. Welcome to Hikmet, Your Excellency. Come closer. Come closer. All my wares are in the vanguard of progress. Your Excellency, welcome. I am honored to receive such a prestigious guest. You will not regret it. My wares are the best in all Hikmet, and always in the vanguard of progress. Where do your wares come from? Most come straight from the continent. That's still where the most refined objects come from, isn't it? But others are also crafted in Hikmet, of course. We have some great workshops here. Plan of uh, have like plan of have like a curved weapon. It's all about like fences and such. I say curved weapon, I say curved sword. 
one fencing, one slicing dicing. Wanna make chicken boss, one to chop some tomatoes. And onions. You'd better go and meet this governor without me. We are at war. I'm not certain that I can remain calm if I see such a man. We rarely bow down on our ships. I hope I will not embarrass you. Excellence, it is an honor to meet you. Allow me to present my sincerest regards in the name of the Congregation of Merchants. And allow me to wish you and your cousin a warm welcome to the island, in the hopes that this visit will help prolong the profitable relations between our two nations. Likewise. Nevertheless, another question brings me. The Malachor. The Prince d'Orsay hopes that these new shores will bring us new possibilities. Even a remedy. It is an area that concerns us greatly, but be assured we are studying it acutely. Our doctors and alchemists are particularly interested in the flora of the Isle. It's extremely varied and different from our own. In fact, we have sent a group of explorers into a very promising sector. Alas, we've had no news from them for quite some time now. We are hoping that nothing has happened. We would have sent a patrol to investigate, but we cruelly lack the means to do so. The natives have proven aggressive, even hostile to our studies, and have attacked us regularly. You ask the question why? You steal our lands, gouging the earth in sacred places. And now our people are disappearing. It's enough to drive one to unsheath a blade. Do you not agree? Siora, please. I understand how you feel, but this isn't the right time. <sighs> I am sorry. You are right. My apologies, Your Excellence. Continue, please. Hmm. Yes. As I was saying, we are obligated to maintain all of our able-bodied men here in order to protect the city. But we would be happy to share with you the results of our research if... Your Excellency. This insolent interruption is untimely and unwelcome. I deeply regret, Excellency, but one of our frontier posts has just suffered a brutal attack. Report, then, and be precise. The natives attacked us by surprise. Our men were massacred. Our frontier post is lost. One more act of barbary. Dismissed, soldier. Where was I? Yes, we would be most pleased to share our discoveries with our allies if your cousin would send us a party to help us find our lost expedition. I could show you to which region they were sent. I thank you for the information and will let him know. If you are of a mind to accord me another request, I would be truly grateful. I'm listening. As you have not failed to observe, our troops as well as our caravans have been suffering incessant attacks. The merchants, including your own, are raided, often killed, and certain goods have become scarce. Captain Rainhild, who commands our outpost in the plains, has communicated his incapacity to protect them, considering that certain of your own fellow countrymen are involved. You would like me to lend a hand? I will see what I can do, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I met Ulan, the Bone Blower's clan chief from the village of Vignamri. He is an open-minded man who holds great expectations of exchanges with the colonies. He would like to meet you to discuss a treaty, even an alliance. Ulan, you say? I have never heard mention of this name, but to finally have an ally among the natives could only be beneficial. That is excellent news. Still, I fear that I cannot leave the city. That would be taking too much of a risk. I doubt that Ulan will come to Hikmet. 
He is looking for an alliance, but he is not desperate. Such a gesture would be considered a sign of weakness by his clan. That is understandable, I suppose. Do they grasp the concept of emissaries? Do you think that solution might work? I think that might be possible. I'm sure he would understand that you could not come to see him in person for the same reason. Excellent. Finally, some clear skies in our negotiations with the natives. My right-hand man will then go to this village to finalize an agreement with King Ulan. I'll be there too, to make sure everything goes according to our plans. There is another matter concerning the same village that I would like to bring to your attention. A wandering merchant, member of the Ulan clan, is being kept in your outpost. Can you authorize his entry into the city? I see no harm in that. This merchant is certainly not a threat to us, and he might even prove useful if the negotiations with his clan should take a foul turn. Here, please be so kind as to give him this letter of passage. If he presents it to the guards, they will let him in and he'll be able to establish his stall in town. I thank you. I hope to see you again. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lady. Well, that's... Oh yes, that will take a long time. Does he have like an art question or something? Trick. Your Excellency. Lady Desade, and to what do I owe this honor? I have to go. Look Farewell, my lady. So weird, like some creatures are like ordinary.
Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? Governor Burren has asked me to help you fight against the caravan attacks. Could you tell me precisely what's going on? For weeks we have been harassed by the savages. They're waiting for groups of soldiers or caravans to be out of sight of the outpost and attack with incredible violence. They don't just steal goods or equipment. They kill without mercy. Only one man survived their last attack. He's here in a sorry state. Do you think he could answer a few questions? Yes, but take it easy on him. I'll make sure I do, Captain. I guess now we're dealt with. Hello there. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was informed that your caravan was looted and that you were the sole survivor of the attack. It's true, Your Excellency. It was awful. All those deaths. The violence. We followed the recommended precautions to the letter, but it was useless. How did the attack happen? We traveled all day. We were exhausted, and night was approaching. We knew we were not very far from the outpost, but we couldn't go any further. So we camped away from the road, trying to stay out of sight. Alas, it was in vain. That's when they struck, in the middle of the night. Were there several attackers? I counted five, maybe six. But others were hiding in the woods. I'm sure of it. If they only had their usual stone weapons, we may have hoped to escape them. But their weapons were inflamed. I have never been so scared in my life. What were you transporting? Mostly food, but also herbs and other ingredients for scientists. Did the attackers take it? Everything was a blur. I don't know if they intended to steal or destroy it. Unfortunately, my companions died while trying to protect our cargo. Are you saying that the looters started by attacking your cargo? Yes, Your Excellency. Maybe more of us would have survived if we'd all fled. You mentioned recommended precautions. Yes. Since attacks occur often, we were given a number of precautions to avoid them. Do not travel at certain times. Do not camp near the road. Do not light any fires. All of it was useless. It would have been better to recruit guards to escort us. Hmm. Based on what you're saying, the attacks were very targeted. They must have a camp near the outpost to monitor the road. But what is their goal? Why attack all the caravans along this route? They must want to cut off the supply lines to Hikmet. We'll go to the scene of the attack. I might find something there to help track these rebels. Just keep walking, Renaixe. This does not concern you. Have mercy. They will kill me. I am but a merchant who wishes to trade with the big city. I never thought I would see several Islander warriors attacking a mere merchant. And I thought honor and righteousness were of the utmost importance in your culture. I must have been mistaken. What are you trying to say, Renaixe? Are you insulting us? You are insulting yourselves by behaving this way. He's an unarmed man. He's trying to survive. What honor is there in attacking him? He is a traitor. He deserves to be punished. But you are right. He is not worth attacking. Let's leave. His punishment will come once we have chased Renaixe away, and he cannot sell his products. Adlo Reda Odolmanawi. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. Think nothing of it. Ulan told me that you were not able to enter the town. 
It is true. The soldiers did not let me enter. They left me outside, and the Donaya Exdragao took advantage of this opportunity to attack me. Rest assured, I have obtained permission for you to enter from the Governor of Hikmet, which should allow you to set up your stall in the city. Adloreda Renaixi. Thanks again. Farewell, merchant. Perhaps we will meet again. The caravan was some distance from the road when it was attacked. Here we are. Stay alert. The food has been destroyed. They clearly don't need it, which means that their camp should be close by. They must have died protecting their goods. How sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades. The kind of weapons that islanders use. These crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. Look at that. Skull thing. Somewhat dangerous. I think I saw this creature before. Oh, that's a deer. This man's body arranged like this. There's something in his pocket.
He was in the caravan. But whoever attacked him decided to drag him here and feed him to the wild beasts. The Donea Egdragal do this as a sort of scare tactic. This is a message for other merchants. Poison bats. This obstacle was deliberately placed here. I think we're on the right track. Their camp must be near. We must find a way to pass. Finally, here's the camp of the rebel natives. The standing men called themselves Donea Exregal. Please, let's try and talk to them. I do not want to fight with my brothers without trying to reason with them first. Hello. Don't worry. I come in peace. I only wish to speak to your leader. I am the leader of this camp, Renaixe. And who might you be? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. The congregation? Are those the Lugaid Blau? The yellow eyes? It's possible, yes. We live in the city south of the island. That's right. We hold no grudge against your people. Talk. I'm listening. I have come to speak to you about your attacks against all those who take the road to Hikmet. The Lurians only got what they deserve. They have captured many of our people. We must release them. 
That's the price of war. If you fight, you risk men being taken prisoner. I am not talking about warriors, Renaikse, but villagers kidnapped in our villages. They mainly attack on all Menawe. Those carrying the mark of the bond like you. They capture them, and we never see them again. We don't know what they are doing to them, but we are going to release them. I see. But our merchants have no role in this. They are not warriors, so why kill them? They brought food and weapons back to our enemies. We could not let them pass. If your merchants had fled, we would not have pursued them. But they resisted, so they do it. The city of Loyans is no longer to receive food or weapons. Nothing. In that case, I'm sorry to tell you that you failed. The road is not the only way to transport goods. Many things are transported by sea. Listen, hmm. if what you told me is true, I fully understand why you're fighting. I'm even ready to help you clear up these disappearances. As long as you spare our merchants. You no longer need to worry about it. That was our last attack. Our troops are ready. And soon we will make the Luyan pay for the harm it has brought upon us. What are you talking about? Soon, the Donea Exregal will march together, and we will free our brothers. Can you guarantee that our merchants will now be able to take this road without risking their lives? I always keep to my word. The time for small attacks is over. Now is the time of war. I'm afraid you're heading straight into a massacre. But since you promised me that our caravans will be spared, I have fulfilled my mission. Go in peace. We should prepare ourselves. Jeez, I can, can I go like fast travel or something? Or I could. Wait, I, I think I could fast travel towards a camping area. Um. I hope I will not regret letting them go. They are so full of hatred for the Alliance. The Donaya Exregal fight, as my mother did, to free our people from the Lions. And now, they are ready for a great battle. I hope they will not end up like my clan. I have to admit that the story of this attack is concerning. We should talk to Captain Rainheld about it. We can also inform him that the convoys will now be running smoothly.
Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? I managed to trace the rebels who attacked the caravans. They will no longer be a problem. You eliminated them? No, it was not necessary. But you must know that this group is part of a much bigger army. An army that is ready to go to war against Hikmet. We have been at war with the rebels for a long time. They did not speak of skirmishes, but of a pitched battle. They want to free their imprisoned comrades and will stop at nothing to do so. This is terrible news. We must prepare the troops immediately. I'll send a message to Governor Buran. Thank you for warning us, Your Excellency. You've given us a chance to resist their assault. I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a token of gratitude. Thank you, Captain. Now what? I must go. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Second. This is not the fucking thing. Desarde, I have a favor to ask. Very well, I'm listening. Do you remember the story of Jonah? Of course. Well, I'm like him. A donation to the sea. My family also gave me to the Nords. I don't know anything about my real family, except that they are probably affluent and from the congregation. When I was born, the Norts and the Merchant Princes had a complex relationship. I must have been used to settle a debt or forge a truce, but that doesn't matter. The mystery of my origins has now become an obsession. I need to know where I come from. If I were patient enough, I'd wait to become a fleet commander, and then I would be told. But since being laid off, such a promotion seems somewhat improbable. And you want me to help you find this information? You understand correctly. The records of all seamen stationed on the island are in their respective ports. Mine must be in the harbor office in New Serene, and it must contain my family name. But if I go there, I'd be spotted right away. Could you go there and bring the file to me? Another time, maybe. Alas, I'm too busy at the moment. I understand. Come back when you have more time. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. Alright. These quests later. Can I like... 
Ugh. I'm gonna stop for a second. Never mind. I got this. Out of fucking city and. Ulan, I see that the governor of Hikmet's emissary is already here. He is. And I am very thankful that you succeeded in organizing this meeting. I am full of hope for the future. Uh, we are very grateful as well, Your Excellency. However, if you could leave us, I am sure you can understand that the discussion we are about to have must remain confidential. Naturally. I hope that you will reach an agreement. I'm having a bad feeling about this. Stop here again. And right, get like eight minutes, aka a couple seconds. So, have you reached an agreement? Our discussions were very fruitful. However, we are faced with a problem. Really? Our peace treaty depends on the ability to exchange freely. And Chief Ulan has warned me that our merchants would be at risk of being attacked by the neighboring clan. Mordun, the chief of the village of Igugsob, is at the near Exregal. He is among those who think that the people of your island are only here to take from us. But his village would also benefit from this agreement. If you could convince him to meet us, we could reach an understanding, allowing the caravans to pass through his territory. Without this, I am afraid we would not be able to make a commitment. Peace and trade are linked. If our merchants risk their lives coming here... I am sure that you will manage to convince him that the Renaixe are not all bad. I can try, at least. At Redar, we will wait here and hope that you will manage to reason with him. I guess, ladies and gentlemen, I think we got probably be done here. Hope you enjoyed. This is pretty a uh, hectic, long, uh, you know, video. But uh, hope you enjoyed. Peace on my homies. Peace out. <laughs>